here tonight. The press is not here tonight to observe me for good. They know that black people are coming to hear me by the tens of thousands all over America. They know that their own people are listening to me. Hispanics are listening now. Arabs are listening. Asians are listening. So while you are clapping tonight, they are saying, we got to stop this man. He's untying our ass and our coat. That's what this is all about. Let me write something ugly about him so that I can influence the thinking of his people. They know that you are not a hater. So to make me a hater makes me run against the grain of the nature of you who is a loving people. That's why they play that card. He's a hate teacher. But don't you ever stop to think? Look at the evil that these people have done to you for over 400 years. Is it because they love you? They call me a racist. What is a racist? Look at the word race is. The suffix I-S-T tells you the degree of proficiency and the degree of commitment and dedication of the person to the main word. Race is. This man is a chemist. He's become proficient and he's dedicated his life to the study of chemistry, so you call him a chemist, a biologist, an artist. A violinist, a pianist. Now they call me a racist. What does it mean that I've dedicated my life and everything that I have to see the rise of a people that have been destroyed by an alien power? Is that what I am? But. The evil meaning of that is to exalt your race, to set at naught another race, and to deprive another human being of the intended prerequisite for life, freedom, justice, and equality to advance your race. I am not that. I never have been that and I cannot ever become that because when I become that I am not a racist I am a devil now listen to me good you can't fault any race for looking out for themselves that's the nature in which God created human beings you can't fault Jews for looking out for Jews and you can't fault Italians and Irish people and Greeks and Polish people for looking out for themselves. You can't fault an African for looking out for himself. That's the nature of things. But if I'm going to look out for myself and then crush you in the name of looking out for myself, then I have become a demon. I have become an enemy, an opposer, an opponent of the natural rights of human beings. Now, Caucasian people, see, you are more than a racist. Because in your desire to exalt white above all the human family of the earth, you have deprived the human family of the natural right of a human being of freedom, justice, equality truth and self-determination you are wrong and somebody needs to point it out am i lying or am
am I telling the truth? I would never try to exalt you by tearing down Jews. That is silly. The Jewish people are some of the most intelligent people on the earth. That's right. And they are some of the most productive people on earth. No one can take that from them. And who should try? But when we say that Jews had a role in our enslavement, either it's the truth or a lie. Now they're saying, well, it was marginal. It was only 2%. But yesterday, you didn't have no role. That's right. Come on. Yes, sir. But we've researched your history. That's right. right. Yes, sir. You got it. We researched it. Yes, sir. We didn't research it from some anti-Semitic writings. These are the writings of your rabbis, your scholars, and your historians. Now, if we are lying, we're lying after your own historians. Look at what the Quran says. In that day, yes, you will see every nation kneeling down before their book. Yes, sir. You wrote your history. It's your history. You wrote it. And now we are researching what you write. That's right. And the sad thing about it is many Jews don't know this. Many young Jews are shocked. They don't believe that. And that's why I challenge you to get the book, look up all the quotes, it's very well documented, then go to your public library and get the main book out of which these quotes come and see the context of it. And if we're liars, then bring us before the world and condemn us as liars. But don't talk lie when you know, you know that your people had a hand in the destruction of millions of black people. That truth hurts, but it's got to be told. Yes, sir. You say, but why dig into the past? Why don't you let the past go? Why don't you let it go? You are an intelligent human being. And you know that if you're not mindful of history, it will repeat itself. And that's why as a Jew, you say never again. That's right. I'm with you on that. No, I am. I wouldn't want to see Jews go in an oven again. No, sir. Would you? No, sir. No, I don't want that for you. I don't want that for myself. I'm not saying something from my lips. I'm saying it from my heart. I'm trying to get you to escape judgment. Yes, sir. See, nobody talks to Jews like Jews should be talked to. Everybody's afraid because the moment you say anything critical, you become anti-Semitic, so you run under the bush and shut your mouth. But Farrakhan ain't that kind of man. When prophets of God come, they don't come into the world because things are right. Prophets come because things are wrong and very wrong. And the duty of the prophet is to point out the evil so that you may repent, atone 
make a change while there's time. 